Hi, everybody, and good afternoon. This is the first of the Benil Film Talks. And the purpose of this series of talks is uh, to be able to share not only with the students of uh, the College of St. Benil, but you know, the rest of the Philippines regarding issues involving Philippine media as a result of COVID-19, okay? So today, we start off okay, with a discussion of the real state of Philippine digital productions at the height of COVID-19. As a backgrounder and as a kind of a prelude, guys, do you realize that uh, today, okay, well, I am celebrating my seventh month of confinement. That's right. Okay? We have stopped normal life for the past seven months. And because we have stopped normal life for the past seven months and it looks like there is no you know, light at the end of the horizon, okay? Uh, it seems like it's going to be like this for quite some time and it has changed the lives of literally everybody. It has changed the lives of literally everybody. But even more curious and interesting, it has changed our livelihood, okay? It has changed the way that we are, you know, that we make our living. And it looks like we are at the cusp of a process of evolution which we have to deal with. So... Uh, kids of CSB and uh, the rest of the world who's watching us on live stream at the Benil film page, okay, uh, we have invited some of the most, uh, some of the most prominent and uh, the uh, mga apu ko na to, the younger generation of movers and shakers of the Philippine movie industry, all right? Uh, if Joel Amangan and I are the fossils, okay, these are the rest of the human beings manning the museum, <laughs> okay? All right. Okay, let me first start. Okay, let me first start. Okay, with okay, let me first start with a uh, Patty. Okay, where is Patty? Okay, Patty Lapus. Okay, who is re you're representing the the line producers, right? Line yes. Producers okay. and production manager. Hello. Yeah, okay. Uh, Patty Lapus represents the line producers uh, who are actually the you know the worker ants. Okay, of the industry, they're the ones really sweating it out on the set. Then we have, okay, uh, Mara. Okay, we have Mara Marasigan. Re Mara, you are pre representing the production managers, right? No, direct. I'm representing the assistant directors. The assistant yes. directors. My mistake, okay? Mara is... Oh, God, okay? Ito yung mga taong nagdurusa sa set, okay? Kapag ang, ang director ay nagpapahinga na, si Mara at ang kanyang angkan, okay? <laughs> ang sang nagdurusa pa at nakikipag-usap sa mga tao, okay? Uh, upang upang siguraduhin na the, the, the work is uh, still ongoing and especially now following the protocol. Then we have a Ben Talentino. Where is Ben? Okay, Ben, where are you? Okay, Ben. Okay, Ben, ang pogi-pogi nating akinatawa ng mga editor. Okay, siya ang mga taga-gupit. Okay, ng mga, ng dating mga pelikula. Ngayon ng mga digital na, na ano, ating pinagdidikit-dikit. There is Ben. Okay, and then we have, okay, uh, uh, Pedero, where is uh, uh, where is uh, the representative of production designers? Okay. Hello, uh, good afternoon. Okay, okay. Uh, isa rin madugo itong ano, uh, super dusa sila ngayon. Dahil super dusa ang budget, super dusa ang mga production designers. Yes, right. Uh, they will now be known as the masters of multitasking. Okay? Okay, tapos nandito naman ngayon ang mga mata ng pelikula. Okay, representing the cinematographers. Okay, Maki Galvez. Maki, say hello to everybody, little boy. No po. <laughs> okay. okay, that's Maki. All right. Paano makukompleto ang grupo kundi ang nandito ang napaka-controversial, okay, napaka-outspoken, okay, at uh, how shall I put it? Nag-iisa na pinakatawan ng mahigit sa limampung direktor ng Pilipinas, okay, ranging from, you know, mga pasaway sa mga santo, okay, Kung saan siya nakalugar dito sa hierarchy na ito, hindi pa natin nalalaman, okay? Um, Paolo Villaduna representing the Directors Guild of the Philippines, okay? Hello, uh, magandang hapon sa lahat. Okay. May music na pumapasok, i-mute nyo nga yung mga participants. Mute kayo. Sino yung may music dyan? I will now. <laughs> okay. Lekat kayo, okay? <laughs> Para okay. may soundtrack daw, direct. <laughs> Nabuti ko maganda yung soundtrack, di ba? Okay, and then to co-host, okay. Unfortunately, Percy and Talan had an emergency meeting, you know. Even producers have to make a living, especially the producers have to make a living now. So I am going to be representing the PMPPA, okay. I'm representing the PMPPA. And to co-host, okay, this event, ang tinitingala namin, kaya nga ganun ang pangalan niya, okay. Kaya nga yung pangalan niya, okay. Okay. Uh, 
kung sa pop culture timeless, okay, ang queen of pop, timeless din sa amin, okay, <laughs> ang queen of productions, okay. Uh, she is the head, okay, she is the president, CEO ka ba ng, 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 ng straight shooters, okay, at Unitel. Siya ang nagmana ng kaharian ni Tony Gloria, okay, <laughs> ang natatanging Madonna Tarayo. Hi, hi everybody. Welcome to this uh, very interesting and freewheeling talk no, tungkol sa new normal represented by those who were the proponents of the Inter-Guild Alliance. So, well represented itong grupong ito. All right. Kasama rin natin ang ilang faculty members ng uh, ng film department, ng film program ng CSB. Uh, there is uh, our founding member, Jag Garcia. Okay. Uh, the head of our uh, uh, editing and uh, special effects division sa program namin, si John Anthony Wong Wong Wong. Okay. And then, uh, I guess everybody knows, okay, Seymour Sanchez, okay, a professor of all the colleges in Metro Manila, including the Calabarzon region, okay? So, uh, si Seymour ang pinagsamang UAAP at NCCA, NCAA dahil lahat na yata ng eskwela pinuturuan niya, okay? Uh, malapit na siyang tanghaling uh, ng, ng, ng Vatican, okay, ng patron ng Philippine Education. All right. All right, having said that, okay, let's begin our discussion. All right, kanina Madonna, hindi ba diniscuss ko na? Pucha, pitong, ta- pitong buwan na tayong tenga sa bahay, hindi ba? Pitong taon na tayong walang ginagawang, hindi, nawala sa normal group. Okay? How much has this affected the industry in terms of output? How has it affected okay, the industry in terms of output? How has it affected you in terms of, uh, in, in terms of the output? between March up to the present. Anybody would like to answer? Maybe I'd, I'd ask you, Pao. Pao, since you do both commercials and, uh, and films. Hello. Uh, maganda nga po ulit. Uh, thank you, Direct, for inviting us ulit dito. Uh, yung effects sa industry, okay, we're talking here of three sectors, no? Film, TV, and advertising. Okay, simula nung uh, at the height of the lockdown tsaka nung pandemic, merong research ginawa ang uh, Philippine Motion Picture uh, Producers Association. Uh, na 90% the difference from last year ang output sa pelikula. Can you imagine 90% difference? Kumbaga halos 10% of last year's output lang tayo gumagawa so far. And it's already October. Uh, a year ago, October, ano na yan? Uh, Nag-produce na yan for Metro Manila Film Festival. In fact, uh, since I'm also handling FAMAS, uh, last year there was a total of 122 films. So can you imagine a 10% difference na output? Okay, we're not talking here of output lang. We're actually talking here of employment. Okay, each film, may workforce yan kasi. So imagine mo 90% ang nawala ng trabaho. 90% na living off last year's savings. So medyo malaking, malaking, malaking impact. problema siya at impact sa atin lahat talaga. Na napaka, uh, it's really sad. Uh, I mean, Obviously, marami industriya na apektuhan, pero one of the heavier hit industries ay actually ang pelikula. Okay, that's only for film. For TV, same different, uh, same problem na 90% na nawalan, tapos nasara pa ang ABS-CBN. Of course, nawalan ka, na, nawalan ka ng avenue. Uh, of course, mamaya pag-uusapan natin yung mga streaming sites no, na, na umuusbo ngayon. Uh, and then sa advertising, dahil nga wala ka ng production, na wala pa ng EPS-CBN, na wala ka ng avenue din for advertising, malak- malaking sobra din yung, yung effect. I mean, of course, medyo mas surviving right now ang advertising. And, 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 and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Ms. Madonna, it is a bit surviving now, but there is a big impact and the difference can actually be felt pa rin, especially by the workforce. I mean... We're not talking here of just utility crew and 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 uh, the assistant directors. We're talking here of ano yung effect niya kahit sa mga director at saka sa mga producers. In fact, uh, people kind of glamour glamorize the job na director. Sa totoo lang, uh, isang kahig at isang tukaring kami. Uh, no work, no pay. Uh, we're paid on a daily basis. Uh, we're practically like freelance workers. So. Nabubuhay kami sa ipon lang din. So, so it's, it's really heavily. In fact, uh, there was a congressional hearing na 
the number one hit industry in the country is actually uh, our industry. Yeah. Okay, would anybody would like to add to that? Because maybe I could ask Madonna. Madonna, uh, tama ba yung sinabi ni Pao that, that advertising is a little bit surviving or is in a better position than film or TV? It is a little bit surviving direct because you have to remember, ang pelikula at ang TV, bago siya mabuo, napakahaba. And it serves the purpose of, you know, creative output which you put in several channels na you don't you don't really sell a brand or pitch a product or sell a night. It, you actually sell your story for people to watch. Kumbaga, it's not a necessity. Now, sa advertising kasi, I must say, siguro, we've only been able, our output for the year will only be, be close to 50% as compared to last year. Well, that's still low, was huh? a good year. But that's a big, that's a really a big cut across because that means, that only means that a lot of the advertisers are not actually advertising. So a lot of the advertisers are just looking into their respective companies on how they can recover all their losses. Kasi syempre, without sales, there won't be anything to spend on. Kasi nakadikit sa sales yung, yung pera na pinagagamit for marketing and advertising. Eh. So kung wala yun, wala rin, ano, wala, rin, wala, wala rin trabaho yung advertising. Maswerte na lang talaga ang ang production houses who continue to work. Maswerte with the clients that are spending. Now, yung 2021 is another thing kasi it's very difficult to project 2021 because that is going to reflect kung ano ang impact ng 2020 sa lahat ng kumpanyang to. Because obviously, we're not gonna recover in 2021. That will go beyond 2021. And I mean across industries dito ha. Kasi wala pa tayong solusyon sa pandemic. The pandemic is upon us. Yes, we're restarting the economy. But we cannot restart an economy 100% because we will risk the lives of so many people. So yon, ang daming walang trabaho, ang daming impact ng pagsara ng ABS, ang laki-laki ng pagbabago in terms of the way we conduct things. Pero, uh, para sa akin kasi, meron din namang upside yon no? And this is actually something the IGA uh, will probably share with me. So maybe we can discuss that down the line. Merong upside in terms of working conditions. Yeah. I think that's the upside of this pandemic where we all go back to basics. Okay. All right. Um, I'll just give a brief profile of how the movies are doing, hindi ba? I think alam naman natin na sarado lahat ng sinihan. At uh, kung magbukas man ng sinihan, I mean, they are trying to say up, is trying to open movie houses. Would you believe with the total of 30 movie houses for the entire island of Luzon? That's all they're asking for. Um, mukhang hindi pa rin bibigay, hindi pa rin bigay at hindi pa rin papaya. Let's forget about the national capital region because they'll never open it here because of the emphasis of the pandemic dito sa atin sa NCR. At kung magbukas man, one-third lang ng capacity ng movie houses ang papayagan in order to practice social distancing. Which means, okay, as a producer, in order for me to get money, how can I possibly make money if, only, if full capacity na ang one-third ng sinihan per screening, di ba? Ang solusyon daw dyan ay taasan daw ang presyo ng ticket. Santisima, Mother de Dios. Eh, tiba 200 pesos, 300 pesos na mamahala na tayo. Kita hmm. times 3 mo yun, hindi ba? Ano ang hanapay? Ano ang hanapay 600 pesos for a ticket, hindi ba? Lalo-lalo na kahit na upper middle class or upper class ka, yung 600 pesos is a bit of a crazy luxury. So, wala na yan. It's out of the question. Okay? Until the third quarter of 2021 or unless the vaccine is already popularly spread across the population, sarado ang sinihan. And as a result of that, um, children, walang, walang producer na magpo-produce para sa sinihan. Ito pang malaking difficulty. No? I mean, uh, Patty and Mara, I mean, you know, and Maki. Yung mga producer, may mga in the can na, na meant for theatrical release which already spent millions because ang recovery nila, ang ROI nila is for theatrical release. Papaano na ngayon yun? Hindi ba? I'll give an example. Okay, uh, in, the, in the company that I worked for, Regal did a Chito Ronyo movie. Okay? Regal did a Chito Ronyo movie which was meant for the summer MMFF. And now it's in the can. Okay? And they don't know where to show it because of its cost. 
Okay, because of its cost of living. In other words, two options lang yun eh. Ipalabas mo, okay, sa streaming, okay, logika. Okay, o, in, o you hold on to it, mapapanis yung project. Okay, mapapanis yung project. So, it's really crazy. I mean, all the plans of movie, I mean, uh, all the plans of all the major producers are not for cinematic release, but for streaming platforms. And guess what's the consequence of that? The budget. Okay? Uh, the budget of how much you get paid in a streaming platform as compared to that of the possibilities of an ROI on a cinematic release is so big. Kaya ta tawad galunggong lahat ng tao. Okay? Tawad galunggong lahat ng tao. Which leads us, hindi ba Madonna, to another problem which we all have to deal with. Just how much do we allow ourselves to be made tawad? Okay? Are we allowed to allow ourselves to be made tawad in order to survive? Or magbebenta lang ba tayo ng pichi-pichi online? Hindi ba? Yun ang ating mga options eh. Okay? Now, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll throw it again to, ano, I'll, I'll throw it to you, Mara. Okay? Sa, sa mga assistant directors, karamihan ba ngayon ang mga projects na kukuha mo ay for film or for... Uh, or for commercials? Actually, direct. Mas, um, the, com the commercial ADs are actually getting a lot more jobs in comparison to the film and TV ADs. Particularly because now everything is locked in. Um, so if you're going to take on a project for film, you have to block off actually the whole month, even if you're working for only siguro mga 10 to 15 days because aside from that, you have to do the prep work, etc. So it's very limited for the film and TV ADs uh, to be getting projects. Dati kasi, kahit nagtatrabaho ka sa TV, pwede kang kumuha ng pelikula. Kung MWF ang TV mo, pwede ka pang mag-TTHS na pelikula. But now that's not possible anymore. But um, the, product, the TVC ADs kasi, they're able to get projects because uh, the advertising community is also very strict when it comes to testing. So nobody actually goes into pro uh, projects anymore without the testing for advertising. So a lot of the ADs are, of course, more comfortable in that area. And then you're, it's less time away from your family, um, less exposure to the outside world. So medyo the double take ka din when you're offered a project in film and TV. Eh. Kasi ang tagal mong mawawala. And then your exposure to people is so much more compared to your exposure to people in advertising. Okay. Uh, again, just for the clarification ng mga, ng mga people here, no? ang nire-refer dito ni Mara is kasi sa film, okay, naka-lock in kayo. Okay? Merong quarantine period okay, before you go to the actual set and then you're all together until you finish the movie and then there is a quarantine period after. Nangangahulog kang kids, okay, kunyari ako, magdidirect ako ng pelikula, magpapatest ako. Pagka-test ko, magka-quarantine ako, ideally ng two weeks. Okay, two weeks ako hindi makakakita ng tao maliban sa mga aso at pusa sa bahay ko. Okay? And then magla-lock in ako and for three to four weeks, sometimes even five weeks, naka-lock in ako kasama ko ang mga artisa at ang buong crew at wala kaming makikita kundi ang isa't isa. Okay, for five weeks, bawal umuwi, bawal man lumabas doon sa quarantine area ninyo. And then pagkatapos noon, may test na naman kayo. In other words, susundutin na naman ang mga ilong ninyo at lalamunan ninyo. Okay? And then may quarantine period na naman okay? of two weeks kung to, to make sure that you can go back to the rest of reality. So for a grand total of, you know, it, it's safe to say you lose about one and a half to two months of your life okay? just to make a film. Okay? Sa TV kasi alam ko, because uh, Direct Loris and I have been talking, okay, three weeks ang kanilang straight shooting. Okay? May lock-in sila, may test sila, one week quarantine, two, three weeks lock-in, tapos one week rest, one week quarantine, then another three weeks to finish 13 weeks. Okay? To finish 13 weeks of a series. So, killer talaga. It's really killer na it's palugi. Hindi ba, Mara? It's lugi ka talaga with the rate that you're going to get. Direct, I think that's also the difference to the film management students. Ah. This is the difference between commercial production and then the long form. Kasi sa commercials, di ba, we discussed, quick turnaround ang timetables, shorter ang shoot days, meaning one day, two days, three days. Ngayon pag nag three days ka, there will be a chance na pwede kang ilock in considering the schedule. Pero kung... Kung one day, two days, we don't really do lock-ins. That's the basic difference between films and series because you are now exposed for a longer period of time 
you cannot be moving from one spot to another because you will expose yourself. So, bawal ang lagari. Kung nung araw, lumalagari ka from one project to another, you cannot do that now. You have to focus on one project, quarantine, and then if you need to move to another project, you have to wait. So, yon, that's a very basic difference between the different types of frauds. So, you, you can't have a general rule applying to all the forms, eh, hindi ba? Kanyang-kanyang ano yan, eh. Now, Another question is as a result of that hindi ba because narin of the of the restrictions okay yung uh, yung uh, budget okay ang budget tumaas um hindi ba madonna approximately dahil sa IGA protocol at kailangan naman talaga no 30% yan ano 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 30% yeah 30% ang nadagdag sa budget so bilang producer yung 30% na dadagdag sa budget, kailangan bawiin mo sa pagtawad sa mga tao. Okay? Or, nako, eto, Maki, pagtipid sa equipment. Okay? Yung pagtipid sa equipment, doon binabawi. Kaya, doon dumadagdag. Huwag ka tawa, tawa ng tawa si Pati. Kasi ganun ang ano eh, ganun yung logic, ganun mo binabalance, hindi ba? Ito yung tatawaran. Okay, Maki, ik ikaw ba have you gone back to work since the, since the quarantine? Yeah, I actually shot a film uh, about three weeks ago. Ganun din. Halos one month din yung kinain nung niya sa life ko when we were only shooting for 14 days total. Naka-lock-in kayo? Yeah, lock-in. Yes po. Uh, what major changes have uh, for you as, as, as a camera person in terms of this, this, this new setup? Um. Actually, since the advantage naman dyan is actually since, we're, since our main audience is students, you, it actually felt like shooting like a student film again. Because kayo kayo lang talaga siya eh. Um, you, yung, yung AC ko nag-extra, yung gaffer ko nag naglalakad sa background. I mean, there's a lot of stuff na that, that actually if, you're, if your foundation is in student filmmaking that you can actually come back to. Endless new time. Ang adjustment lang really is ano um staffing. Um, uh, a lot of the cinematographers, kasi the the culture of cinematographers in the Philippines and abroad is apprenticeship. So you bring in people na kahit lower experience, um, so that they can learn on set and stuff like that. Uh, you 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 bring them on. You susugal kasi ano nila. But because nowadays it's everything is so uh, the the schedules are tighter, and then there's you know, the investment of your producers to pay for your swab testing, your accommodations is so high. You have to hire the best people. So, ngayon it's in ano pa, pa ano siya uh, pagalingan. <laughs> uh, kung nakakuha ka ng work, ibig sabihin worth the investment ka. <laughs> okay, actually it works two ways, Maki. Either you're worth the investment, o kukuha ng baguhan dahil yung baguhan mas mura, okay? Uh, sabihin nila, okay, it's not the expertise, hindi ba Madonna? It's the passion daw, na hindi yung pera. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you know, you know that saying, passion doesn't feed you all the time. Yeah, ang sabi kanya, yung get somebody young, get somebody with passion, kasi hindi yung mukhang pera. Sabi ko, okay, alright, hindi ba? Yun ang bagong translation nila. Now, um, Mr. Pedero, sa ano naman, sa production design, alam ko nagbawas ng tao, hindi ba? Department. Oo, hindi ba? Sa uh, PD department, nagbawas ng tao, nahirapan kayo? Definitely. In terms naman of, um, from the lot of production designers na nakakausap namin, marami naman sa kanila yung may work pa rin today. But a uh, production design team or tinatawag nating art department is, uh, is between um, 5 to 20 people siguro. And then that even extends minsan to more because there's a set construction team. Pa. And then I think a lot of the productions now because of you know um, less budget, wala nang set construction. So imagine all these carpenters and painters um, have less work now. And then the art department themselves, the ones who, who purchases uh, props, who goes out to have things tailored, there's less people also on the set now. Um, Tama si Maki, we just did a shoot a few days ago um, on location. It was really, it, it really felt like a student production. Kasi yung, kung sino yung PD, siya na yung magagalaw ng lahat ng mga bagay. Yung DOP is multitasking, mag-aayos ng ilam, framing and all. So instead of like 30, 50 people on the set, there was only like 8 people of us, including actors na. 
so student production ng ano and this is for a uh, this for um for a big company for uh, on a streaming platform na material um so um from last year kung um happy na kami na makapagtrabaho kami ng four times um shooting days a month for tv commercials for example medyo siguro isa na lang uh, isa na lang for the month tapos ito pang number of people that you employ is even less pa so it's really you know heartbreaking to have to tell people that um, okay i can only employ you once this month because i have to employ the other for the next project just to spread it around you know all these jobs because there's really very few of it um, so it's very very tricky doing that also direct yung ano nga um, kasi galing din ako sa brilliant school of uh, found films found filmmaking no So ngayon, dahil wala nang budget for production design, bumalik kami dun sa roots na kung anong nandun sa location. Yun na. Uh, oh sa location, God. yun na yun. <laughs> oh my so, God. So, wala na lang, yes, adjustment na lang, galaw-galaw na lang. Pero para kaming nagbumalik nga ng, ano, ng ganong klaseng filmmaking also. I mean, it's not bad, but it's it lessens our options to creatively use the space and ganyan. But we make do because that's really the reality um all the budget that's supposed to go to production design might have been eaten already by buying all this alcohol and paying for um swab testing and antigen tests for everybody oh medyo naman mahal kasi talaga yung antigen test din yung kahit antigen test mahal yan eh di ba ah uh, okay pao you want to say something hi uh sorry uh, can i just say something I, i i might be the miss uh, if i don't say this kasi galing ako sa independent uh film sector before I went into advertising. For the students lang, uh, when we say student filmmaking, it's not a bad thing. Ah. Uh, in fact, uh, it might be a good thing because it forces people to be more creative. The whole point is, uh, ngayong nag-bird pains tayo into, uh, into the new, a new evolution, there is a way to execute it actually, whether maliit or ano, uh, basta professional kayo at alam nyo ginagawa nyo. But I don't know. I just want to disabuse the notion that people might think student filmmaking is bad. It's actually a good thing. We all started there, and most independent productions actually work with the lean team, and uh, and some of the best films are actually made with uh, with that thought in mind. I just want to under the students. No, oh, oh, tama naman. Madonna, ang galing ni Pawa, no? Ang galing niyang kumambyo, no? Ang galing niyang kumambyo to, to, to clarify. Which is, oh, oh, no, di ba? Na, talagang nakangahal siya ng Pangulo, di ba? That's why. <coughs> oh, kaya nga, eh, the, well, well that, that's true, no? I mean, uh, maybe that's one upside, okay, of what is happening to all of us. Okay, there's one good, this is one upside of, of the turn of events. It has somehow forced us to be more innovative, di ba? Um, Right now, hindi ba? Ilan ba maximum sa set ngayon allowable? Uh, Tati, ilan na ba ang maximum number of people allowed on the hot set? Uh, for IGA, we know that there can be 50 on set, uh, 20 on set, total of 50 people in your group. Patty or Choppy? Pa- Patty or Choppy, let me just clarify, Patty. Ang sabi ni Patty, they're usually allowed is 50 to 70 on the set, right? Yun ang IGA. 50 on set, 20 outside of the outside, set. Outside, outside the set. About drivers, yeah. no, tent, uh, okay. takers, people who do not need to be inside. Oh. Correct. Oh. Kami nung ano, kami may, may, may policy. When I went back shooting, okay, to finish the film that I, I got, you know, na, natenga dahil sa lockdown, okay, um, may ruling kami na pagpasok ng artista at ng director, uh, kailangan, lahat ng tao hindi na kailangan, uh, wala na sa set, okay? To minimize contact, wala na ang PD, yung malala yung art depth. Meron na lang isang representative ng art depth na nandun doon in case may mga adjustment. So, ang laking pagkakaiba niya. Pero can you imagine din ano? I mean, I'm going to ask you now, Patty, no, as a line producer, gaano kahirap ngayon <laughs> dealing with producer? It's yung totoo lang. Actually, sorry. Naku, Patty, Hello. topic ka. Ano yun? Hello? Yes, yes. Uh, now, better. Naku, Nawala ulit. <laughs> Patty, mag- mag-lip-read pa kami nito, okay? Aside from all the logistics that we have to consider, for shooting productions at this time 
now we have to look at um, also managing all the anxieties of all these people coming on set. As a producer, you have to think about your cast who have different levels of comfort when it comes to being exposed to the outside world. There's also your crew. Um, some are want to have PPE suits, others do not. These kinds of things that you have to manage as a producer so that everyone on set feels as safe as... Um, I-off video mo na, Pati. Naririnig ka lang pag wala kang video. Yung budget po talaga, uh, ka- talagang pinagkakasya natin at this point. Yung sinasabi ni Ben kanina na nag-8 packs on set sila, this was because, you know, we're, we're all trying to survive as producers. We want to be able to provide work for the people as much as uh, we can. Um... So, nung pinitch namin yung project, it was initially during the time when we were in a stricter lockdown situation. Kaya minimal people lang yung makakalabas. Although now that we're starting to open up, hindi naman namin ma-adjust yung budget accordingly. So, hindi, hindi kasi ganun kadali eh. To, to, you also have to find a way to um, work with the financiers, with the investors for film productions. So that you're still able to create materials um, for 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 shoots. Okay. May, may tanong naman ako kay Ben. Ito si Ben Masaya, hindi ba? Si Ben Tolentino Masaya. Dahil yung trabaho niya nasa bahay. Hindi Wedding ba? open sa bahay. Hindi ba? Ben, <laughs> apektado ba kayo o wala lang, pahiga-higa lang kayo? <laughs> <laughs> Siyempre, direct affected din po. Um... Kasi yung uh, the biggest thing direct na naka-apekto sa amin is yung timetable. Parang kasi, di ba before, post houses were open 24 hours, ganyan. Pero ngayon, limited hours na. And then, even the manpower, parang ano lang, hindi, hindi sila full force. Eh. So, what, you know, the length of time for us to do a certain task before na madaming tao, kailangan din i-consider ngayon na ano, matatagalan siya ganyan. Yun yung biggest thing. Pero yes, direct, in-encourage namin na sa bahay na lang as much as we can. Pero meron pa ding mga bagay na like if you check color and sound, pag hindi naman calibrated yung screen monitors mo, paano mo i-check yung color? So you still have to go to the post house for some of these things. Okay. Uh, Madonna, would you want to ask any questions? Do you have any points you'd like to raise? No, I just want to I know I just want to ask um anybody from the IGA can actually answer this. Siguro just to backtrack like how did you guys come together to put these protocols? Kasi I know it's it's a very difficult yung commercial production houses kasi direct yung advertising na unang maglabas but it's not as detailed as the IGA. And then they invited me na nga to be part of it para lang to consult for advertising but It's very interesting and, and th- this is something that I think I want to know no and I'm sure the rest want to know. Paano mo ito sinimulan? Kasi ang daming departments ha. This represents the Interguild Alliance uh, protocols actually represent all the departments of production. Hindi lang ito just because gusto mong mag-shooting. You have to consider all the aspects of production to actually start doing hard work. So, I just want to know uh, whoever will answer, Patty or Paolo or any of the guys. Yeah, actually, um, we started off um, very random. It was, parang each department um, had the initiative to actually form their own protocols na. Parang, I believe the, yung pinaka-advance sa amin, first Uh, honor roll talaga namin, first honor namin yung production design group. Kasi sila, very comprehensive na yung sa kanila. And then, um, we were invited, at least the assistant directors, uh, ang nag-invite sa amin kasi si Paolo to discuss uh, what we guys were working on and then, because we were newly formed lang and then, um, we believe DGPI and LPS was already coordinating with each other. Ganyan. So it was really a random thing na mag-meet lang to discuss what each department was actually doing. And then parang na-realize namin na ang daming mga bagay that were similar 
Um, but we needed to make sure that it was consolidated uh, in such a way that pag binasa mo yung production designers, pag binasa mo yung sa cinematographers, um, hindi sila nagko-contradict with each other. So that's how it started. Basically, that one. Parang it was just a mutual invite na, oh, tara, let's talk about because we're doing this, this department is doing this. Maybe you can share what you guys are doing. And then it evolved to, hindi, sige, pagsamahin na lang natin everything. Pero let's let's see which, um, what what items need to be talked about. Because we always went back to the guilds. We always went back to the to our groups. Because every time there was a major change, like when we were discussing the number of people on set, um, be, kailangan namin ibalik muna dun sa grupo namin and ask, uy, ito yung sabi ng mga producers, papayag ba tayo dito? <laughs> Tapos babalikan namin, sorry, hindi kami payag dito. What, what compromise can we do? So it started out as that. There was no idea or no intention of formalizing whatsoever. Um, a bunch of us were actually just doing it on the side because we wanted to go back to shooting. We wanted to go back to working. And we couldn't find something... Um, comprehensive enough for yeah. us. Yeah. So, ayun. Sabi nga ni Maki, Zoom. Hours and hours of Zoom. Hundreds of hours of Zoom. Meron kami mga Zoom meetings. I think kasama ka doon, Ms. Mado. That was like eight hours. Never ending. Yung madaling araw. Yeah. Yung mga ganon. Madaming madaming ganon. Kasi we wanted talaga all the departments to have a say in everything. So we couldn't like just change one item and, oh, sige, papayag na kami dyan. We had to go back to everybody, back and forth, back and forth, to make sure that we covered all the bases. Yeah. No, I have a follow-up question to that, hindi ba? I mean, everybody is, is trying their best to follow, you know, the IGA protocol, but it's not like, you know, words engraved in stone, right? Because there are certain uh, projects who do, you know, adaptations, okay, of what has been prescribed. Okay, and this is mainly because uh, lalo lalo na yung sa PD na napaka-busisi, na po yung makabusisi, hindi ba? Yung sa mga production design, no? Now, um, my question is this, and this naturally acquires a tremendous amount of cost. Di ba? Binanggit nga, it adds 30%, okay, to the to the total budget. Just um, in case, in case, somebody violates or you find out that somebody another group violates okay certain very critical points in the protocol what should be the best solution to this sumbong mo kay tulfo ay biro lang biro lang <laughs> May, meron po kaming grievance committee i think siya yung dapat sumagot dito <laughs> sino yung sa grievance committee sino ang kinatawa ng grievance committee Si Maki po. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh. Maki! Oh, Makario! Oh, ano? <laughs> so actually, parang based naman on, ano, since it the nature din naman kasi of IGA was yung sinasabi nga ni Mara that we started collaborating. Then yung when the DOPs and then when the directors and when each department on their own started trying to think up of of protocols for each department. Na-realize namin na may mga sticky points kung saan baka magpungguan ng ulo. As with most productions naman, na each department um, wants something done, but it parang steps over, it has a chance of stepping over the toes of another department. So, as to time. So, in let, in let, ano, uh, in that, uh, wait lang, choppy ata ako. Uh, in on that note, parang we had a um, we realized that the as to mga violations quote unquote of protocol or lapses in following the protocol, we realized that it has to be worker based um, in the sense na since we built naman na already a system of uh, communication between industries and between departments, um, these these things can help there and then only at the most uh, either um, the biggest lapses dun lang siya i-aakyat to higher power so um, little things it started with little things like uh, masks people not people showing up to work even with a fever very small things until it started to reach bigger um, 
bigger problems. Then, ganun din. It cascades upward. So, we hope to try to, the, the IGA seems to becoming this um, parang sounding board ng industry and industry workers as to things that they want clarification on or things that they want to, to fight for for themselves or for their department. So, parang, parang ganun. We're still building a we're learning as we go along eh. so as to how to handle these things slowly um we're we're finding a good process to work through these problems oh pero uh, direct yes oh uh, if i can add lang uh, sa sinabi ni direct maki uh yung sa violations kasi uh unang una well this is a protocol that we want to propose to the other guilds uh students who have to understand ng IGA ay 5 months old pa lang so uh, and then um, nagiging uh, yun nga sabi nga ni Maki na uh, the industry is looking into it as an, uh, as an umbrella organization ang ang hope ng IGA is to coordinate with all the guilds and the organizations like talk to each and every organization and then find out what are their expectations at kung anong responsibilidad na kaya gawin ng IGA the purpose being, we kind of want to align with everyone, especially in terms of monitoring and policing our industry, especially ngayong, ano, no, ngayong pandemic. The idea of self-regulation is very strong. And ano, students, we have to understand self-regulation doesn't mean autonomy, autonomous from the government. Ha? We follow rules, but we want to manage and monitor ourselves internally. That is the benchmark of private businesses and art. Okay. Uh, the protocol that we want to propose, sana, we encourage all the workers to, uh, to, to do it internally muna. Complain to your management. Complain to your direct superior. Complain to your line producer, to your producer. If you are ignored, you can go to IGA, to Maki, the grievance committee. Sorry ko dadag sa si Maki. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go, Pao. Okay. Okay. Uh, once they complain to IGA and IGA uh, finds it sufficient, of course, magi internal ano muna, we will contact the relevant or the concerned guild. Kakausapin muna namin example. Example may violation ng DGPI. Kakausapin ng IGA ang DGPI. And then DGPI can reprimand its own members internally para pagsabihan. And then, kung ignored pa rin, that then maybe we can escalate it further. But this is a proposal pa lang, and this is something we want to coordinate with with all the guilds and the organizations. Yeah, Adona, tapos... magbabato ako ng ano ha, magbabato ako ng problema dito sa mga batang ito. Okay? Mm. Kunyari ganito, okay. kunyari raw, kunyari, ano, pero ito kung nangyari, okay? Uh, kunyari sa isang set, okay, hindi ba meron tayong maximum number of working hours, Madonna, hindi ba? Which is... Um, 12. 12, no? Ang maximum ba? Is it 12 with a maximum of 14? Am I right? Yes. Actually, kung, yes. Kung, kung, ano, kung kailangan i-push, kaila- i-push ng 14 hours. Yeah. Kung, kal- kung talagang kailangan, na, But really, like, we cascade to everybody. It's 12 working hours. The two hours is really just an accommodation in case you don't finish. Okay. So, in other words, yung 14 hours is out of urgency. You know, kids, kasi may bagong ruling. Whereas before, hindi ba, no? Uh, mga kapatid ko sa industriya, dati yan, pwede kang 18 hours, kuminsan nga may nagte-36 hours non-stop, hindi ba? Kapag naghahabol ka ng, ng broadcast, hindi ba? Sa TV. Yung talagang uuwi ka, talaga may leukemia ka, no? Pero ngayon, okay, iba na, in, in, iniba na ang ruling. May maximum na ng 12 hours na negotiable to 14 if it's really an imperative. Okay, ganito na, yes, ano, yes, Patty, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I just wanted to let it Pati, pa- i-off mo na ang video mo kasi para kang galing sa you know, spaceship. Oh. Um, we just want to re- reiterate that um, working hours should start count from the first call time of the day, not from the grind. Kasi lugi yung workers doon who are already setting up and doing ingress on set. So, I know we're observing proper turnaround of um, 10 to 12 hours uh, for for shoots. Yun lang ang sana. We are mindful also as workers and as producers is that 
once you ask people to work, that's already working hours. I know there's still some productions that start ang bilang talaga sa first shot of the day, and I think there for the workers. No, ganito pati kaya mas komplikado ang problema ganito eh sa set. Ah, uh, natapos na yung 14 hours gusto pa nila humirit. Okay? Ang kinausap at pinapayag ang mga artista. Okay? Kasi pag pinapayag mo ang artista, ah, uh, tuloy ang ligaya, hindi ba? Aminin din naman natin, di ba? Aminin natin makina ang pinaninimbangan sa set, hindi naman tayo eh. Hindi ba? Kundi yung artista. Paano na Madaw pa na lulutasin yan. Kung sabi ng artista, o sige na nga, payag na ako mag-18 hours. Uh, I always, ako direct, this is my stand across, no? Across any project, across industries. If we are not one in vision, we will never be able to continue working. Because the government can shut us down anytime. I mean, if people do not realize that you have to work in a safe set, and there shouldn't be a lot of compromises based on the rules, then what will stop anybody to say, okay, park muna kayo, stop shooting. What, I mean, di ba? Mahirap yun. Kasi, uh, what, what were you thinking? Like, kung, kung kakunsabahin mo yung mga artista, hindi malalaman, there are other people who work in the set. It's not yeah. only them, yeah. right? What about the, the other, the, the other, the staff, the entire team? So, lang, yeah, Ms. Madu. Diba, Mara? It's, it's, it's crazy that you actually think that you can get away with it. You can get away with it. Yun, yun eh. Parang, it's so unthinkable nowadays that you can get away with it. So, yeah. sana naintindihan ng lahat. Mara, you want to say something? Yeah. Yung sa sinabi ni Ms. Madu, I think what, um, they think that they can get away with it, but it's actually a life and death situation. Yeah, and people fact. forget that. I mean, we're not implementing this on a whim. We're doing this because we want to protect everybody. Um, the reason why there are set number of hours, and people keep forgetting this, eh? the reason why there, there is a set number of hours is because we are trying to limit the exposure of everybody and maintain the immune system of everybody to be top notch the moment sleep, yeah the moment that you're working for more than 14 16 hours gumising ka ng 3 am tapos magtatrabaho ka hanggang late that night pagod na pagod na yung katawan mo your body will not have the defense mechanism to actually fend off the virus thus putting yourself and everybody around you in in jeopardy it ay natatakot na, nakakatakot because we forget that you're actually when now that we're going to work we're actually putting ourselves at risk yeah. and That's if true. if nobody realizes na this is how big of a risk that is edi nakakalimutan natin the value of human life no. and we're prioritizing the work over human life Oh. And I think then that speaks then for the the how behind the scenes and I guess what what people feel the IGA or the, the the image of IGA the industry is that parang we're putting everyone um on the same level so which parang when, when yeah which should be so let point nga na artista sure like I mean that that happens everywhere around the world like um even you can tell palang sa pay scale the 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 importance that that production give to artists but parang now that we're in this situation it had to be a wake up call then to realize that even your driver gets the same swab test as your artist so it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that just because you're paid the lowest on the set doesn't mean that you're worth less so you're tested for covid just as well as your as your most expensive person on set is tested so parang i think that's what that's what IGA is trying to slowly ingrain in the culture. Then, uh, even though you're a grip, even though you're just uh, you're just a cameraman, you're just an art department or, or or a PA, that your life and your right to to a safe environment is just as is just the same as anyone else. Okay. Madonna? May I add on direct? Uh, uh, sinabi ni Maki, 
um, kasi yung sinabi nga niya, it's a great equalizer itong situation natin dito with the pandemic. Kasi the, the lower uh, you're paid, the longer hours you are actually on yeah, set. Um, so there is a really big imbalance in that situation. Pre-COVID times pa. At uh, it's a struggle namin to because we're early on the set and we're the last to leave as well. But with this um, set 12-hour um, work hour thing, it helps everybody else to be on the same page um, with the artista. Um, it's a co consideration of everybody's time. Um, so that's why we're really pushing that everybody follows uh, a this certain number of hours. So for the pandemic, at the very least, with these protocols, we are hoping 12 working hours, hindi 12 grind time camera hours. It's 12 working hours. The first you person on set. Grind time, my gosh. Uh, uh, there's still, uh, no, unfortunately, there's still some of the, those little violations of thinking that the 12 hours is grind time, but it should be working hours. Na, na, alam, na, alam mo kung in-implement natin anong panahon dati, yung 12 hours na from the time that you're on the set, yung mga, kung hindi na ako magbabanggit ng pangalan, alam naman natin may mga superstar, hindi ba na 3 hours late bago dumating, tapos mag may makeup pa ng 2 hours. Patay, isang eksena lang makukunan mo, hindi ba? Pero yun ang maganda Madonna, when we went back to the set, pagdating sa set ng artista, naka-makeup na. Yeah. Okay? Naka-makeup na, na-disiplina na sila na itigil na yung chika-chika boom kasi wala nang time na to make chika, eh, hindi ba? O kaya yung, uh, yung nawala, hindi ba? Nawala na yung glam team na dalawang punta ko para buting tingin yung, hindi ba, yung artista, hindi ba? Para pagandahin. I mean, it brought us back to basics, which I think, Pao, even as directors, hindi ba we realize that that's very important? Hindi ba? Actually, ano nga eh, uh, laking bagay yung nagiging, nag, nagiging professional tayo ulit. Nawawala, <laughs> nababa... <laughs> Nababaw, nababawas. Alam mo tayo mga Pinoy, mahilig tayo tumambay, magkwentuhan. Medyo unti-unting na nalalesen yon And everyone just goes to the set and work. Ano, uh, pero it doesn't mean we're not having fun. We kind of need to insert insert fun pa rin. Uh, but to go back to the, ano, to the question ni Derek kanina about yung uh, pagkinunchaba yung mga artista, uh, kasi it, this is personal, naniniwala rin ako kasi sa responsibilidad ng director, hindi lang ng producer. Uh, alam niyo sa USA, uh, sa US, sa DGA, kasama sa code of conduct ang, ng director, yung uh, command responsibility. Uh, sa US, uh, yung DOP, may, may nangyari na may isang cameraman na namatay at ang nakulong ay ang director. Dahil call ng director kung saan napupunta yung camera. So may command by responsibility. In the same way, naniniwala ako ng mga director natin, this is a moment for self-reflection din sa role natin bilang uh, makapangyarihang uh, uh, figure sa set. Uh, meron rin tayo responsibilidad na kahit kung tsabahin tayo lahat, we can always say, sadali lang, pandemic era ngayon, hindi kaya. Gets ko, lahat tayo naghihirap. Gets ko, sobrang bigat ng production ngayon. Baka there's a way to 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 fix it without uh, endangering our 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 health. Of course, I will be the first one to say na lahat ito ano no uh, ang sarap sabihin sa camera on paper because on the set it is different. Yeah. In fact, na realize namin ito sa IGA na and that kasi kaya evolving ang IGA protocols eh. Kasi minsan on the set you can't follow everything. Uh, you can follow the masks. The, the face shields, the test, the working hours, and, and everything. Pero minsan, hindi maalis ang kumpulan. Mm. I mean, uh, of course, uh, very minimal, you know, but these are some things you kind of have to medyo realistically adjust then. May sasabihin ako dyan, Pao, because this has something to do with, uh, something to do with yung our meeting with Congress earlier this week or last, was it, yeah earlier last week or last week, right? I think important rin yung professionalization and training of people on the set, eh, ng crew, hindi ba? Madonna, hindi ba kadalasan kasi yung mga crew natin, totoo naman, hindi naman talaga sila it's, trained. It's not a, it's, it's not a derogatory remark, ah. hindi, this is reality that we are talking about because this, the, the, the crew that we have, the crew that we work with, and I'm not saying lahat yan, they are they are not as lucky as you know the students here who can go to film schools. 
So ito ay mga crew na na-train on ground ng kanilang mga kung kanino sila nagre-report. So karamihan kasi ganun. Pero yun isa yun sa mga wish talaga namin na sana meron talagang uh, sort of a certification that is given to everybody para lang ipaintindi talaga sa lahat no na ito ang dapat na, na kilos pag ikaw ay nasa isang production. Important yon. I'm sure si Namaki, that is something. The cinematographers are always, you know, uh, trying to put this together. And um, unti-unti namang nangyayari. That's for sure. Kaya lang hindi talaga minsan may iwasan. Meron at meron pa rin. Pero ginagawa naman. So, yeah, yun. Unti-unti, no, Maki? Yeah. Um, actually, what, 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 what we realized nga since we're about seven months na nga pala into this and we've been shooting maybe for about four of those months. Parang, what's actually hopeful is that it's working. Um, parang, if you look at the quality of the, the work that's coming out, both film and especially commercial, you can't actually tell the difference anymore. Kasi dati halata eh. Halata mo kung, kung ano yung nag-shoot early in the, early in the pandemic kasi syempre the quality wasn't as high. But then now you see food shots, now you see um, commercials with talent that look exactly the same as it did before the before the pandemic so it, it it's a testament then to um how everybody is stepping up um like the crew to the director to the ad's to keep the schedule to the to the actors who were on time and make sure that they're performing at their best ano so it's actually a very hopeful ano kasi it's working so parang we were kind of hoping nga na nung lumabas yung isang circular na we're gonna be allowed 100% workforce again. Parang we were all hoping na wag na kasi gumagana na eh. It, it's working. <laughs> it's, it's stressful. I mean, sure, we could we could add a couple more people here and there just so that people aren't um, doing uh, with this uh, multitasking too much. But um, it's actually working very, very well. Um, the The... the You'll notice it's a film because it, it takes a little longer for us to come out with our materials. But um, in a few months, you'll be able to see materials that full-length materials that were shot within the pandemic. And ako, I mean, like I couldn't tell that that 50 people lang you on the set that when when we shot. Um, same thing with commercials. You may I add don sa sinabi ni Maki um, with the 50 people working now in the pandemic. This should have been at least the norm. Prior yes. to the pandemic, because if you look at productions that uh, work um, internationally, like I was able to experience working in Vancouver, and uh, me and Patty together, no, uh, we were able to work uh, with about maybe twenty people lang in the production every day, and we were only working for twelve hours, and that's like tw twelve working hours from time of ingress to taillights. Since sinabi lang taillights when the cars leave. And the taillights are, are, are blinking red because they're leaving the locations. That, that's the taillights. So it's 12 hours of that. But then all our sequences, we were able to do everything without rushing. And then people were able to sleep better um, with 20 pack crew. So sabi namin, when we were trying to formulate the IJA protocols, we were really pushing for these conditions because we know it can be uh, it can work for the industry and it will help the industry as well wala na tayo yung abused um, number of hours of working 18 to 24 hours for sing a single day of shoot wala na tayong um, multiple people caretakers just taking care of uh, equipment na kaya na ng isang tao um, so it's not just about multitasking also it's really about uh, elevating also the 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 ano the, the workforce uh, it's putting in a little bit of standards na maganda for the industry. And beyond the pandemic, we're hoping that the, the protocols will become a norm. And that's, wh that's why we're really being careful about and trying to help the community follow the protocols because we're hoping this would be the norm afterwards. You know, which leads me to my next question. And to, I will attach to your comment, diba? Let's look ahead, diba? Um, Realistically speaking, we're not going back. Diba Madonna? I mean, no, no, I don't I'm, I'm even afraid we're never ever going to go back to the normal that we knew before. Eh? Okay? Direct, if, 
going back to the normal, uh, I think we cannot discount the fact that any at any given time, even if, for example, the vaccine is there, uh, there's no more pandemic, there is no assurance that at any given time, it's not going to happen again, mm -hmm. that something else is going to happen, and it will compromise all of us. So this is already a lesson learned for the entire human race, I think. <laughs> so dapat talaga um, very mindful na. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I mean, it, it's almost impossible to imagine going back to the normal we knew last February, considering how things are in the here and now. And judging from the way everybody has been talking, we are evolving into something else, right? And dami nating lessons, and dami nating realizations. Um, the question is, are we going to survive, okay, this all the way to 2021? Assuming that indeed, okay, the the promised vaccine will be around now September 2021. We are right, right? But then, uh, how are we going to survive this? I mean, uh, number one, the question ko is, uh, tatawaran tayo ng katakot-takot. We have to work more because we have to multitask and be paid less. Shooting days are cut. Okay, I don't think anybody will do a 20-day shooting nowadays, right? That's already to dream the impossible dream, okay? Especially with platform projects, it's now diminished to six to eight shooting days. It's the return to classic pito pito. Okay? And three, I mean, from the producer's point of view, you have to understand that the investment kailangan maliit if you even want to have a little bit of profit. So, Madonna, how are we going to go and proceed from this? What do you think? You're both in films and advertising, so how are we going to proceed? To Una -una, ha? Wait, Madonna, before I proceed, ha? naaliw ako sa mga Zoom movies for the first month and a half. Okay? Yung mga pelikula ba na lahat ng tao ay katulad natin na, you know, okay, amusing siya for a while. Even in Cannes, the, the, the Spanish had a lot of Zoom movies. Okay? Yeah. Pero teka muna, ha? naglolokohan na tayo. Ha? Hindi naman pwedeng lahat ng pinapanood natin mukhang nasa, you know, you're watching Jeopardy, <laughs> hindi ba? Hindi ba parang... Aga mo na, nagtitipid na to, kaloko na ito, hindi ba? Okay, uh, so what do you think, Madonna? Okay. Ako, oo, oh, oh, sige, ako muna direct. Ako kasi, uh, I'll be very hopeful. Ah. I'm, a, I'm an optimistic person. So ako kasi, if there is one thing that, that this pandemic has taught, should or should have taught everybody, is to really um, be creative in everything that you want to do. I'm not just talking about storytelling. I'm even I'm also talking about production management, the way you will like, the number of people you will employ, who you will employ, how you will do everything per department. So there's the creativity aspect because it's the only thing that will make us survive. If we are able to think of ways to actually be able to tell a story and work according to you know, what is professional, considered professional now, given the IGA rules, I think we will survive. But of course, be mindful also of that budget. I think, I think, kasi, ano rin eh, matter of perspective kasi yung budget, there will always be those producers or those investors who will gamble, okay? Who will want to put really good stories out there for people's consumption kasi we have to accept Wala tayong sinihan, hindi yan mangyayari. The recovery is not there. So I think kailangan yung tanggapin. Kailangan mag-isip kung papaano natin yun magagawa. So creativity is number one. Second is, we will never go back. Ako, personally, sa advertising kami, we're talking about it. Yung 100% capacity na yan, we always tell people that it just means office work. It does not mean production per production because... The pandemic is still upon us. How are you going to increase people on set? Parang hindi yon magu work. So I think yon, the policy has changed. The working hours have changed. The number of people on set. So that means you maximize the number of people. And direct kasi in advertising, what we do, if you multitask, uh, for example, gaffer ka, but at the same time, gaffer head crew ka. Yung gaffer rate mo, we add to that being a head crew. Hindi natagdagan naman namin kahit pa paano. Kasi nga, it's multitasking. Hindi dapat pababa. Hindi porke multitasking ka. Ibig sabihin, nagtipid ka ng isang tao. 
Hindi nga. Well, maganda yung sitwasyon nyo sa, sa, sa advertising. Kasi sa pelikula. Sa diba? pelikula nga kasi, yeah. I know naman, I understand. It's really, really difficult. Pero yun, kasi you're only looking at streaming sites. So you can be very creative as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yun nga kasi sa pelikula, nag-multitask ka na, tinawarang ka pa. <laughs> Di ba? Kaya, yun na gano'n. Yun naman, parang ano naman. Kasi, na, kasi as it is, lumiit na kayo eh. So I think that is, you know, uh, something na masasabi mo naman kahit pa paano na-compromise yung budget, no? Na, naayos mo yung budget kasi lumiit na kayo. So, so nakakatawa si Madonna. Yan, the logistics. Oo, oh, oh, na, si Madonna nag-post sa Facebook yung tungkol sa, sinasabi sa Amerika na hindi na talaga magbubukas ang mga sinihan, hindi ba yung, hindi mo na magbubukas sa sinihan. Tapos meron pa rin ako nabasa na ganyan din yan. Sabi ko, kung sa Amerika nangyayari yan, dahil yung legal, yung regal movies, hindi ba sa Amerika, yung regal cinema sa Amerika, nagsara na ng 100, hindi ba? At dito mukhang nangang, nanganganib na, hindi ba? Nanganganib na talagang hindi mo na magbubukas. Ang ating tanging, okay, children listen to this, okay, the future is in streaming, okay? Na fast track lang nitong pandemic, hindi ba Madonna? Papunta na ron eh. Na fast, track. Na, na, na fast track lang talaga. So lahat tayo nasa streaming. Ang consciousness natin, streaming consciousness. <laughs> Sa tingin niyo ba apektado kayo diyan kung biglang streaming na lang ang nalalabe? I- ikaw ano, ikaw pati, sa tingin mo? Linggo lang. Bilang LP. Um, ang hirap. Ngayon pa nga direk, hirap na hirap ka na mag <laughs> mapagkasa lahat ng kaperahan. <laughs> Tsaka Minsan, you you budgeted for all of these, ano, for testing and protocols. Biglang, oops, may nag-positive, kailangan ng confirmatory swab test. You know, you you have to to a lot for these things in the budget. Um, kasi ang ang nahirapan ako personally was we we for example we did a tech scout. It was uh, required to the production that we at the very least do a rapid a rapid antibody test prior pull out to checking the location so we did this um syempre pero ang logistics ko niyan pinasundo ko yung staff ko going to the testing site ako because as a personal choice i wanted to self drive to minimize you know interaction with other people unnecessarily pagdating dun sa testing biglang ang nag karon ng um, IGM positive result was my driver. Paano 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 ako lala, paano kami lalarga? What ended up what we ended up doing was me and my production manager used our cars to bring the staff to the location. But it's these things you can only do if you have good relationships with your staff. Yeah. To trust you that you are still thinking of their safety first. Mm-hmm. Um, as a producer, meron ka ring awa sa tao na hindi kita nagamit today, but I will give you at least the base fare so you can um, get yourself tested. Yeah. Although it ended up, kasi when he went to his barangay, ang mahal din yung charge ng PCR test sa barangay, it was around 5,000. Discounted. <laughs> from the normal that we have before na nasa mga 6 to 8,000. Pero mahal pa rin yung 5,000. So, I just had to rearrange things in my budget and pay for his PCR swab test. So, there is so much risk to go um, through with productions now. And as a producer, you have to be, you know, always on your toes. You have to be quick with your decisions because time is of the essence while still you know thinking about the safety of everyone it's just it's it's challenging it's i don't think it's going to be easy because we're all still learning from anong anong classing virus ba talaga to there's always new information about how to handle things how to disinfect what we should do this and that so it's really a collaborative um effort of everyone to keep everyone safe Alam mo, may share ako sa iyo dyan, Pati, yung nangyari sa Mami Susan, ano, na may, ano, may, alam mo ito, Madonna, na ikwento ko, ano, sa iyo, no? The, the guy was not honest about his health condition. Hindi ba may pipila pang conform? Hindi niya inay, inamin na hyperdiabetic siya. Okay? 
So, nung pagdating na sa set, no, on the way to the set, mukha na siyang creepy. Akala ng tao may sakit na, 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 ano, na may, may COVID. But apparently, COVID negative siya. Kasi hindi COVID yung sakit niya. He was hyperdiabetic. He, he passed away on the set because of uh, yung kanyang diabetes. Okay? And that created panic. Hindi ba? But of course, naman, nobody just dies like that on the set with, with, with COVID. Hindi ba? It takes a long, painful process. But again, it's how can we assure that our people are being honest with each time they take their, you know, they fill up that medical form? And I would understand if they would lie because they need the job. Hindi ba? I mean, it has reached that point of, of insanity. Okay? Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. And um, what is important right now, which I think we, we, we all have to hold hands together, is that uh, we, we, we have to survive this and evolve. We have to adapt to this situation, which is not not very very easy. I imagine, even in a band, okay, even the post production, they're having such a difficult time as well, okay, because of the amount of time being given to them and the amount of the window that's being given to them to finish the works. Lalo na sa streaming, hindi ba? Kaya direct ano eh? Uh, you, you, I think the key word dito habang Habang nasa transition phase tayo, and this will be a long transition, uh, sinabi mo yung keyword kanina, we are all on survival mode. The producers are trying to survive. Uh, all the workers are also trying to survive. Ang problema, if the producers do, do not provide films, wala rin tayo lahat trabaho. So everyone nagiging, it, it's so sy uh, symbiotic ngayon, I think the, the, what's crucial here, habang transition, that we are all vigilant and, 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 and we're compassionate with each other's well-being and that hopefully we actually survive this together. Kasi, uh, direct, uh, labagit mo kanina yung pito-pito. I remember, I, I, I was a kid kasi noon dati, a line to do Okay. <laughs> Uh, line producer ako ni Nikte Ocampo and, and yun nga, may, uh, medyo mababa yung mga budget. I think uh, we have to be uh, conscious lang din, lahat tayo from producers to utility to never exploit. Merong ano eh, merong ano talaga eh, merong opportunity for exploitation. So I think we have to call out each other every time we feel like there is exploitation. But to reference nga pito-pito, it was during the time na pabagsak ang Philippine industry so, nagkaroon ng pito-pito system. But you know what? The industry survived that. Nagkaroon ng, ng, ch ng cheap digital transition. Lahat bagsak, bagsak presyo ulit. Ma uh, mababa ang renta ng mga equipment. And then eventually, it kind of normalized. And then suddenly, even the independent films had big budgets. Suddenly, you had independent films of 5 million, 10 million. I was like, Wow. My first film was 900,000 pesos in 2005. So parang, I mean, no, uh, this is an important and crucial transition period na sana lahat tayo vigilant lang na wala nga exploitation mangyari. Kasi hindi the, the the practice of making films, of sharing stories, it will never die. And it should not die. We, we, we have to make sure that culture of making films, of telling stories, and watching films, dapat hindi mamatay talaga. Yeah. Oh, tsaka, let's not forget, ah, um, alam niyo ba yung kwento kung bakit pinanganak ang pito-pito? Share ko siya. Alam mo ba yan, Madre? Sure. Share mo direct. Okay. May ginawang trilogy kasi sa Regal. Okay? Na gumawa ng trilogy yung tatlong director sa Regal under the supervision of Joey Gosengkiao. Lumabas na yung trilogy, tag Tag, eh, ano, tag na 90 minutes per episode yung trilogy. So nabaliw-baliw si Joey Gosimpia. Paano niya i-edit yun? Yung, kung 90 minutes dapat yung tatlong pelikula. So ang sabi ni Mother, o oh, pwede naman pala. Okay, pwede naman palang gumawa ng, ng, ng pelikulang 90 minutes within, within 7 shooting days. Thus was born the pitupito. Okay? Kasi yung trilogy naging three separate films okay but do not underestimate the pito pito oh that yeah where love diaz jeffrey jeturian 
the best of Mario O'Hara, you know, Rico Ilarde, doon sila lahat nang galing. Okay? Ex- sila... Exactly direct. Right, uh, right for creativity ito. In fact, ang pito-pito was actually, uh, it was a good moment for cinema. Naging jump off point siya ng independent full-length films. O, oh, tsaka alam mo. Talaga. Oo, oh, oh, tsaka di ba Madonna, ang masaklap lang ngayon kasi with this pandemic, ang unang, the most hardly hit will be the independent films. Di ba? The most hardly hit will be the indie films kasi even lang sa festivals ngayon, uh, alam ito ni Patty, hindi ba? Yung dusa humanap ng financiers, ang mga independent films. So sana, you know, mag- you know, magkaroon ng opportunity na talagang transitional phase naman ito. Okay, ngayon, I think we should open the floor for questions, okay? From our professors or our students. Kung may katanungan kayo, okay, you can either put it in the chat box or open your camera, raise your hand, and you shall be acknowledged and unmute yourself. Do you have any questions to ask the members of the IGA? Any questions? Direct ako meron sa oh, inyo po. Oh, okay. Uh, kayo direct, what, what do you think about what's happening now? Because, I mean, you're a filmmaker, uh, you're also an educator. I, I, I want to know how you feel about what's happening now. Madonna, hindi ba ako moderator nito? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Direct. <laughs> No, but these are very interesting times. And I'm, I'm always curious and I'm very interested in interesting times. Okay, uh, let me break it down into three points. Okay, totoo transition period ito. Nagdurusa tayong lahat and we don't know kung ano ang kahihinatnan natin at the end of all this. Okay, we are evolving eh. Kaya nga tayo hirap na hirap, we are evolving. And nobody predicted this. I mean, Patty, Mara, hindi ba, Ben and Ben. Okay, did any of you imagine in October 2019 that it's going to be like this on October 2020. Hindi ba Madonna? We never imagined this. But since it happened and we are unprepared and because we are unprepared, the process of transition becomes harder. Okay? And we're really forced to accept it. Um, may, 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 may joke nga kami eh na, na ano eh. Ano ito eh? Uh, either magtiis ka o mamatay ka eh. Hindi ba? Either mamatay ka sa COVID o mamatay ka sa gutom. Hindi ba? So you have to learn to adapt and adjust. Ikalawa, okay, that's looking at it from the broad, broader point of view. Ikalawa, Paolo, okay, ikalawa, most interesting. Dapat ito is a time for innovation and creation as what Madonna said. Okay? Hindi regression. Yes, I agree. <laughs> I totally agree. You know, kami kasi ni Direct Joe, we have this conversation almost every day. Kasi agree, kami, agree. We watch whatever, anything and everything. So, yan ang aming conversation kasi it's the only I think no across industries is the only way to survive creativity is the, the is the key for us to pull through kasi otherwise what else is left we are from the creative industry so that is our main core that's our core competence we have to use it now and then <laughs> innovate otherwise we will all die eventually <laughs> I don't know if you guys will agree Mara okay Patty Ben and Ben okay uh Nasaan na si Makario? No? Wala si Makario. Okay? Uh, nag-iba ang tao eh. Nag-iba ang panlasa ng tao. Hindi ba? Nung nakulong tayo ng pitong buwan, we changed. We really changed. We can't be doing the same stuff we were doing last year because the audience has changed. My God, ako lang may exposure to, dahil napilitan ako manood ng Korean novelas, na adik ako ng Korean novelas and Korean movies, hindi ba? Nag-iba aesthetics mo. You, you realize how backwards we are? Hindi ba? We, we, we realize yung papaano natin na pabayaan ang sarili natin. What more of the audiences who can afford to watch movies? Hindi ba? Iba na sila. Iba na yung pananaw na. We can't be doing the same thing. And uh, without meaning anything malicious, we can't be doing movies from the 1980s. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> Okay, just for the sake of, you know, doing movies and pagtitipid. Hindi ba? Let's get real. We have to innovate. And, and thirdly, you know, wow, it's every every problematic moment is a challenge and we can be something better as a result of this. Now is the time. If we don't, totoo ha, merong exploitative pa, may, pwede tayo mag-exploit ha. Totoo yan. Ako, at saka meron na nga ng mga nag-exploit, hindi ba? But now is the time for us to really try something new. Because what have we got to lose? <laughs> what, 
what have we got to lose? We're already uh, playing the last of our trump cards, hindi ba? So, interesting times. And I think, yeah, you know, guys, sasabi ko din sa mga graduating students, you know, ngayon mga ito, alam nyo, congratulations, pero naiiyak ako para sa inyo because what an awful time to enter the world, hindi <laughs> ba? What an awful And time to enter the workforce. Okay? My question, oh, there's a question from Rona May Laliana. Okay. Maybe so, uh, Patty can uh, answer this, no? When we have to negotiate budgets with clients to accommodate swab testing and if clients also have financial challenges, where do we draw the line that our rates won't stay low too long or below acceptable standards? How long should we keep accepting lower rates? How can we increase again and when should we do this? Napakadaming tanong. This is Rona. Uh, she's a producer from Cine de Oro and she's a Benil graduate. Saksang hirap. Hirap, no? Kasi ako... Uh, very good, Rona. Okay. Oh. Uh, I think, for one, I would say be transparent about what you can afford. And as a worker, what is acceptable, what is an acceptable rate to you given the amount of work to be done over the course of how many days. So... I kailangan siya maway accordingly. Sometimes there are negotiations probably in terms of are you going with a PCR test or an antigen test? But it's very rare that anyone does any um, antibody test now because of its low accuracy. Um, there are times, especially when working with actors with um, big names, they would require this as like an entry exit test. So that's something to be mindful of. Um, also, I would say um, maintain um, the working hours, just to reiterate that. You are being paid. You, maybe you will allow yourself um, uh, a cut, a, a discount in the rates that you do, uh, in, the, in the rates for the work that you do. But make sure you are not overworked because that's also unfair to you as a worker. So these are things lang to be mindful of when negotiating um, for budgets. And um, I, for at least from my experience, most naman are already aware in terms of the protocols that should be followed. It's it's rare naman for producers to outrightly say, I need to make test. I hindi na MSO. So, the, SO meaning safety officer. So, these are some things lang na you have to think about. And I think also, this is where we set the standard for our work. Eh. You cannot always give in to, um, pwede bang tanggalin to sa costing? Pwede bang tanggalin to... There are some things that shouldn't be removed at all, like a safety officer, a medic on set, um, a, a, a budget for protocols. I think those are things that shouldn't be negotiated um, at this time, especially during the pandemic. Okay, we have a question yeah, here. From, may uh, add? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Ben. So, um, Derek, if anything, in this pandemic, na, na tuto yung mga editors namin na uh, to ano to ask lang simply ask kasi di ba ang mga editors usually yes po okay po sige po <laughs> deliver po namin yan ganyan and ngayon na uh, mas ma, mas kumaga like for a movie that you're supposed to shoot 13 days taking 7 days in post parang mas marami ka din kailangan i-consider kasi di ba parang maraming na compress yung story nag nag-make sense pa ba parang madami kang inaalala pa so Sometimes it takes longer for a movie to be or a series to be edited ganyan. And um, usually sa mga pelikula parang wala namang end date like edit ka lang ganyan tapos hanggang matapos yung project ito na yung package straight mo. So if you just tell them na ano um bigyan mo siguro mahigi ka na lang ng schedule parang ganun para hindi ka forever nag edit ganun para hindi ka rin malugi. If you're going to accept a lower rate than your usual because of the pandemic then maging transparent ka din sa kanila na hindi po habang buhay natin pwede siyang i-edit. Parang kailangan din merong schedule din kayo na pag-usapan, mag-agree kayo sa isa't isa. 
I think the point here being raised by both uh, Patty and Ben is that you know we may be artists, but we also have to be businessmen. Okay, we we also have to know the equivalence of our work, right? Hindi ba importante rin yan? Hindi ma abuso ka, hindi eh. ba ma abuso ka? Oi, may question dito para sa PD, no? This is from Riley, okay? For production designers, po, how did your creative process change now that the compromise is emphasized in this period? Just to uh, just to clarify, Sigur, the creative process remains the same in in the sense of trying to understand what the story is really about and trying to put in a creative as, uh, push for visuals in your story. Uh, hindi yan nagbabago. You still break down a script. You still talk to your director. You still do all of this. Yung dun na sa part ng implementation ang maraming compromises kasi what is uh, available to you or what you can afford. Dun ka magko-compromise. But never compromise on vision. Never compromise on story. So you only compromise. Like for example, instead of renting out a couch that is worth 150,000 pesos, uh, magrenta ka na lang ng couch or, uh, ng 30,000 or manghiram ka sa kapitbahay mo. So that's how you compromise. But you don't compromise that you have to have a couch where an actor would sit down on. So yun. Okay. All right. I hope that answers your question, Riley. Now, here is some Lem. Ako ikaw nga magbasa nito, Madonna. Mahaba-haba. Okay. Hi, I'm Lem from CSB 118. So I want to ask po, since we've talked about the Philippine media setting during COVID, mahirap itong tanong niya kasi why is it that our neighboring countries, example, like Thailand and other ASEAN countries, although they're also struggling, but it's not as struggling as we do. Can I just point you towards the IATF? I think <laughs> they will answer you better. <laughs> I think, I think Ms. Madoda... The yeah. answer to that is government support. <laughs> um, no, recently, uh, the Guild of Assistant Directors and Script Supervisors, we had uh, an AD from Thailand to talk to us. Like, we were seeking um, advice regarding farming, ganyan, ganyan. and what we found out was that during this whole COVID era, they do not have a guild, but they do have a union. So the union is actually um, in close contact with their government, wherein the government is giving subsidy to everybody who is not working. So aside from the fact that we're really hardest hit as a country, it's also because even before the pandemic, the other ASEAN countries yeah. have been able to form good government relationships with the entertainment advertising media sector. Eh tayo? Eh tayo, nagsisimula pa lang. We're, we're left behind. And, <laughs> and tayo, reactionary, you know? Yes. Our reactionary. That's right. Eh sila, the reason why they're not as struggling, even even the people that we've talked to who who from Korea, from um, Indonesia and Singapore, lahat sila, um, they, the, the first thing that they tell us when we were discussing like, like, how are you guys surviving? Paano ba yung nangyayari dyan sa inyo sa pandemic? Ganyan, ganyan. They always say that the, 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 their industry has been supported in, from way, way before the pandemic. So it wasn't hard for them to demand something because there was already a conversation happening and there was already good connections happening. Yun. Okay, Paul, you want to add something? Maybe you can add, you know, the meetings with Congress of the IGA and the what seems to be the promise of the hope in the near horizon, di ba? Well, uh, mukhang ano, mukhang nag, sana nagkakaroon ng, 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 ng changes ngayon sa, sa the way the government looks at the entertainment sector. Uh, we now have representation. Uh, there's a series of legislative measures uh, being uh, brought in sa, sa Congress and uh, we are now being invited. At may boses na tayo, nagsisimula na yun. Ang maganda dito, uh, lumalapit na sila sa mga stakeholders talaga at uh, naririnig na yung boses natin. Of course, uh, at alam ni Direk Joey ito, uh, struggle pa rin because uh, syempre we have to explain kung ano, bang, ano ba yung industriya natin. It's not normal. Ibang working conditions, ibang working hours natin. Uh, so it's a struggle but... Uh, Together with Direct Joey, uh, we're, we're and, and IGA, we're willing to go through the struggle. And, and... <laughs> Hindi tayo essential workers. <laughs> Hindi nga tayo essential workers. We're only essential during the campaign, okay? All right. I have to remember, 
remember kasi the third third world countries usually to be very honest hindi kasi yun yung priority ng government usually kasi nga it's a non-essential sector at this time and that's the reason why so they're still you know they have to look after other things before it actually reaches us pero landmark na nga ito na nagre-reach out ang government and you know there's a mutual uh, conversation going no and hopefully that conversation turns into collaboration so that we all can really restart our creative economy i think that's very crucial hindi talaga i mean kasi ano eh kasi uh, hindi niyo lang alam mga anak okay, mga kids okay na uh, the philippine movie industry is the most heavily taxed industry in the world Okay, of all the movie industries. Na. But that's a completely different conversation altogether, which I would not like to get into. Okay, but um, ay maganda yung sinabi ni Ben, ni, ni Ben, somebody said nulat ni Ben to link, ni yeah. Ben Padero. Just to add, some countries, kahit pa paano, have actually looked at our IGA Pro Guide as ba- and, and based theirs in our protocols. Totoo naman, ano? Kahanga, that's why right. mamaya ako na sila pupurihin. Okay, itong tinrabaho ni itong mga taong ito, became sometimes the foundation of the protocols which are developed in other countries, even in uh, other ASEAN countries. Now, going back to the question of Thailand, Lem, maasang ka man, Lem, kinuronahan na ang Miss Thailand Universe. Okay, Oo, okay this week. Okay. Oh, wait, so, siya nanalo? Meron, ha? Hindi, meron nanalo. Na, na, oh, Thai Canadian. Okay, <laughs> alam ito ba? Hindi ba? Kinuronahan na ang Miss Thai Universe sa Bangkok. Normal na ang buhay sa Bangkok. Okay? Kaya wala silang masyadong struggle dahil alam ng mga, nan, ng mga nangangalakal ng kanilang bayan kung paano supuin okay? ang, uh, ang, ang COVID. Okay? In other words, it's relatively in control. Hindi ba Madonna? Yes. Pero, my gosh, may white beach ba sila? Okay? Isipin nyo na lang na ganon. You cannot have everything. Okay? We may have the virus, but we have beautiful white beach where there was none before. Okay? All right. Any more questions, children? Any more questions? Kung wala, uy, mal- uy, oh, tama-tama, 329, okay? You know what? Meron pang isa. Ah, may isa pa. Hello po. I'm from ID20. My only question is after everything has changed, does the new normal of filming happen to affect the quality of the product? Sino gusto sa magot nito? Ah. Well, as far as we are concerned, hindi dapat. As we always say, this this time it is it is uh, the time for creativity. It is the time for resourcefulness. It is the time for collaboration. So hindi dapat tawaran yung quality ng output. Hindi yan kahit kahit kailan hindi yan pwedeng maging excuse. Because I don't think nobody will take mediocrity. I mean, haven't we had enough? I think it's about time that we really look at really good quality productions naman across the board yun. Hindi lang yun. Kasi like sa advertising, sabihin ko lang, the expectations, di naman yan nagbabago. Pero yung adjustments to the protocols, everybody is on board. Ganun yon. Pero yung output will remain the output that is expected of everyone. So quality shouldn't stop. Okay. Add ko lang, Ms. Mado. Yeah. Yes, because ma'am. we're not the only ones who are struggling. I mean, um, Directors Guild of America released new protocols also. Things to do differently now in the pandemic. But if we if we look at it, uh, yung sinabi din ni Ben kanina, there there should be no compromise when it comes to the creativity. It's actually the implementation that is changing. Um, and yun, people are becoming more innovative and people are, are becoming more resourceful because now there are different avenues to explore and we're forced to explore that. Pero yung tama yung sinabi niyo, Ms. Mando, that it doesn't, it's not supposed to change. Our expectations will remain the same. It, it's not an excuse that ay new normal eh. eh. five days lang sila nag-shoot, kaya ganyan yung quality. Wala namang tumatanggap nun eh. Wala. Hindi mo naman siya ma-explain sa mga manonood na, sorry ha, two days lang kami pinayagan kasi wala kami budget. Wala namang ganun, di ba? Not sa kamara, I mean, I mean, let me just, uh, just for the sake of history, being, you know, the oldest living creature in this Zoom meeting, okay? 
Um, Dino Brocas in Sham, which is a modern day classic, okay? It's a classic of Philippine cinema, was shot in eight days, okay? It is not the number of days of shooting that determine the quality of the product. It's not the amount of budget which is plumped in, but the ingenuity, the creativity, and the dedication, the passion of everybody on the set in the making of that product, which makes the quality of that product last. So kahit nandi dito tayo, guys, I mean, we don't compromise the quality. And for those who compromise the quality, um, that's the sad part of it all. The, 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 the pandemic should not be an excuse. Okay? It should not be an excuse, nor a license to come up with inferior, if not, you know, substandard work. Now, meron naman tagtanong dito, medyo na-affect ako sa tanong ni Rigel. Alam nyo kayo, sabi, it is sad that our current situation forces us to be pessimistic. But is there a piece of optimism you can share to especially young student filmmakers who want to continue with film? Uh, like what I want to answer that. Kepao, go! Kepao. Guys, this is actually the perfect moment for yes. new filmmakers. Okay, yes. we are in such, we're in a transition moment and it's a beautiful opportunity to be able to, to share your brand of filmmaking, to share your voice. The closest uh, historical reference might be the digital revolution ng 2005. All the naysayers were saying, nako, yan na, yung mga chip na mga director, mga walang pangalan. Suddenly, there were 300 digital films. But you know what? Society and, and, and culture will always filter the better ones from the bad ones. And you know, the digital revolution resulted into several hayop na mga pelikula. I think this transition will be an opportunity for that then. Dahil nagkakaroon ng new modes of storytelling. Uh, maybe that can be Zoom, that can be phone. Uh, hopefully, wag lang lahat, no? Uh, but obviously, guys, with this opportunity... Ayaw ko na lang Zoom! Ayaw ko na lang Zoom! Exactly. With this opportunity... Be vigilant din ha, kasi sa dami ng magandang boses, triple ang pangit na boses. Okay? Kasama yan. Kasama yan sa ano. It will magnify everything. Can you give an example, Pao? <laughs> Direct! Pigilan okay, mo! <laughs> okay. But the thing is, it is a good moment for you guys, for the new filmmakers. You can be innovative. You can... You can you can exploit creatively. And uh, dahil, syempre, kung may exploitation sa financial, meron din konting creative exploitation, no? Yung dahil mura na nga, so nakakapasok yung bago. When you get that opportunity, be, be humane with your protocols and, and be really, really good. Kasi you'll only get this opportunity once. If you make a bad film, a bad work during this era, oh my God, bopos ka talaga. But, but you know, this is a beautiful, beautiful transition opportunity for new filmmakers. Actually, yeah, Ben. Go, go ahead, Ben. Oh, add ko lang direct kasi yung, when I was starting sa industry, sabi ko gusto ko mag-edit, di ba? So, yun yung transition ng film to digital. And siguro yun din yung, kasi nasa cusp na nga tayo ngayon nang nag-shift na talaga lahat. And in, in ko talaga, I took the opportunities that were presented to me. Tapos I just ran with it. And I think this is a mirror of that na papunta na tayo ng streaming or marami na sa YouTube na ginagawa. And kung parang kung hayaan nyo yung nangyayari ngayon na hindi matupad yung mga pangarap nyo, Diba? Kailan pa? Kailan pa kayo totodo? Parang ganun. And like, for example, wala si Direct Percy pero siguro anahin ko na lang din yung Game Boys. Kasama ako sa Game Boys. Early, early pa siya ng pandemic and they just wanted to make something creative parang to challenge themselves dun sa kung ano yung restrictions na meron. So wala pang protocols, wala pang anything. And alam ko sama na tayo ngayon sa Zoom pero nung mga time na yon talagang nag-isip sila ng ano ba pwede natin gawin. And Di ba parang ngayon yung mga actors doon, everyone doon sa Game Boys, parang ano na sila. Mm, di ba? So, eh, 
kung kaya nila, ano lang talaga siya, parang sabi nga ni Miss Mado and ni Direk Joey, it's creativity and if you can think of ways and just stretch your imagination, meron at meron kang magagawa na maganda. Well, alam mo, binanggit mo yung Game Boy, sa total, nandiyan dyan naman tayo, I'm gonna say something, ako, Madonna, just mute me if I'm saying something out of bounds. <laughs> diba? Sumabog yung mga BLBL na yan. Alam niya, <laughs> children, ano, yung mga BLBL na lumang. Oh, and it's all because of what Thai series called Together that was shown in Netflix. Hindi ba? It's, uh, you have all these twinks falling in love with one another. Hindi ba? Um, na, nakakaaliw. Hindi ba? You have all these girls, you know, being so amused, okay, by, you know, gay young love. Hindi ba? Siguro sa, sa dinami-dami ng mga BL, Ben, okay, ang pinakamaganda siguro ang Game Boy. Okay? Pinakamaganda because it started the trend. Okay? Tapos there is another one which is okay, okay. Panginoon kong Lord yung iba ha. Diyos ko, yung iba. Okay? Napanood ko yung ibang yung gusto ko maging straight. Okay? On that note. <laughs> On that note, direct, I mute you. <laughs> Sige. I mean, hindi ba? It's not a matter of you riding the trend. Children, this is a beautiful opportunity for you to find yourselves. Eh? Because now the rules have all been changed. You can create the rules. So guys, remember, the one who is remembered is not the one who followed fashion, but the one who started it. If you want to be remembered, you start the trend. You're not just a follower of a trend. And now is the time to do it. Okay. Yung may tanong si Sam Javilosa pero wag na dahil kay Madonna to at alam sinagot na natin ito. <laughs> alam mo, Sam, salbahe ka. Ha? You want to put Madonna on the spot. Okay? Answer uh, naman. I can answer naman direct. Kasi okay, alam din naman to ng IGA actually. Um, how will our industry be affected by those people who do not honor the protocols? Don't respect the mandate. Okay. Sa totoo lang, this is what I always tell everyone. Um... It's not just about you as a production company. It's about the entire industry. The minute you do not follow rules, it cascades and resonates across production houses because then we, our industry becomes singled out. You know, that is something that everybody needs to be very, very conscious about. Kaya yung, yung, like in advertising, I tell this to my, my students, confidentiality is crucial. People keep posting photos, people keep posting so many things, and then you are judged, of course, by what you post. And syempre, nabubuko ka by what you post. So, I mean, seriously, di ba? Uh, I think it's about time that we get serious about all of these things. Kasi hindi talaga tayo uusad kung hindi tayo susunod. You know, yung, yung question kanina, how come the other countries are able to, to do uh, productions no, as much as they can now? Tayo kasi, ang, sila, they had very good government relationship and government response. They had okay. good government, period. Oh, oh. Given, given. Tayo, you know what, the creative industry, the production industry, ang panghahawakan lang natin yung protocols eh, to be able to continue If we just follow, we tuloy tuloy ang trabaho natin and we won't even be worried about going to the set if you know you have a safe set, ni hindi ka matatakot pumunta at magtrabaho. I think yun ang panghahawakan natin ngayon kasi wala naman tayong ibang panghahawakan. So, wag tayong pessimistic kasi ito na ang panahon para sa ating lahat as a creative ano, as creative practitioners. This is the best time to prove to everybody that we can turn this into the best opportunity possible for everyone. Yun. Okay, oh, Sam? Okay, <laughs> Sam, okay. The pandemic is not a curse, it's a challenge. Okay, and yeah. we all just have to, you know, stand up, okay, and then face this effing challenge, hindi ba? You know, having, okay, it's already 3.30, so, you know, ito lang final word na kumadona for these guys to to Paolo, to the Ben and Ben, okay, to the absent uh, Mac, Maki, okay, to Patty, okay, to Mara, okay. Uh, guys, you just do not believe how much we appreciate what you guys have done, okay. Um, the elders would have been paralyzed because the elders were in panic, but you guys were able to master your guts and got together and try to bring back life into an industry which is so definitely threatened by this pandemic. And we greatly appreciate the work that you have done. 
um, hindi sapat yung pasasalamat ko at makaramihan din sa amin na sa industriya sa ginawa ninyo na, na mga protocol at sa pagpapalaban ninyo okay, sa mga tauhan ng industriya. Uh, sa punto niyan, you know, we really, really applaud you because uh, we could have not survived without the IGA. Okay? Ooh. And with that, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And um, you know, alam niyo naman, lolo niyo ako, no? I mean, mahal na mahal ko kayo kahit minsan gago kayo. Okay? Uh, alright? Lalo na yung president ng DGPI. Okay? Tige. So, you know, uh, so talaga maraming salamat at maraming salamat sa pag-unlock ninyo sa imbitasyon namin ni Madonna. Okay? Maraming salamat. To join the CSB kids, the Benil kids, and then everybody else who's watching us on live stream to share the idea of the IGA. Okay? Maraming salamat. And to everybody here, okay, we will be having our next Binyo Talk on November 6. This time we have invited representatives from the streaming uh the streaming companies from iFlix, okay, from um Signal, okay, and uh, uh I want and they're going to talk about the new platforms, okay, and the narratives, the new narratives of the new platforms, okay? Um I think we're all going to learn something from this because this may just be the future, okay? So again, to everybody here, ma maraming IGA, maraming, 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 maraming salamat. And I hope to see you soon. Nag-uusap kami ni Paolo, okay, tungkol sa ilang pangangailangan din ng IGA. Di ba, Pao, Pao? Okay? So I hope to see you guys soon. And then let's, we're all in this together. And again, to uh, the one and only Madonna of Philippine in Miwi Industry. Thank you. Pa Thank you, everyone. Okay. Madonna of the Papa Don't Preach. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, maraming maraming salamat. Okay. And to everybody here, to Jag, especially to John Wong and to Mayor Sanchez, if he's still here. Uh, thank you so much for helping out for the first of the Benil Talks. Thank you and uh, have a safe and good afternoon. Bye, everybody. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye, Derek. Bye, Madonna. Thank you, guys. Bye, Madonna. Bye, Madonna. Bye, Madonna. Bye, Madonna. Bye, Madonna. Bye, Madonna.